In another video, I talked about a lot of different tools being sold to try to extinguish electric vehicle fires. But there's two things out there, two tactics that people are using that I really didn't touch on. What are those tactics? Let's get into it. Now, if you haven't guessed already, the first tactic is submersion. Now, this is something they've been doing in Europe for a number of years. And basically what they have is something the size of a 40 yard dumpster, a very large container where they place these vehicles inside, then fill the entire container with water, submerging the vehicle. Now, you would think this is an obvious solution to a problem. If the vehicle is underwater, surely it can't be burning. Surely that solves the issue. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. Now these types of systems have made their way to the US. There's a couple different companies selling different solutions to try to solve this one problem. How do you submerge an electric vehicle? Now there's a few issues with submersion. Number one, how do you get the car, the vehicle that's burning, inside this container to fill it up with water? Problem number two, how long do you leave this vehicle underwater? Do you leave it underwater for five days, 10 days, 20 days, 30 days? Ain't nobody got time for that. You know, we just don't know. Once you pull it out of the water, is it gonna be okay or will it reignite? Will you have a thermal runaway after the fact? There's a reasonable conclusion. What do you do with the water after the vehicle's been submerged in there for whatever length of time? Is that water okay just to let back into the waterways? Probably not. This is a situation where you probably need some type of environmental cleanup to come in and take care of the water. There's a lot of unknowns with submersion of a vehicle. Now, one thing we know specifically from incidents like Hurricane Ian is salt water can cause significant issues with an electric vehicle if that electric vehicle is submerged. Once the vehicle is removed from the salt water, it absolutely has a potential for a delayed thermal runaway. Now, another tactic I've seen recently is the fire department actually burying the electric vehicle, that flaming vehicle in sand. Now, this tactic realized that it's not going to extinguish the fire. You're still going to have a burning car underneath all that sand. I suppose it protects it. It protects everybody else around that vehicle, but it's not going to put out the fire. Now, remember, these batteries don't require oxygen from the outside atmosphere to burn. So once you bury this vehicle in the sand, how long do you leave it for? Now, I really don't recommend either of these tactics, but I'd really love to know what you think in the comments below.